Shalom. First off, I want to start up by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekorkadash, just all praises to the world called God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh for the Heavenly Father, by Hashem, meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole for lake, preaching this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazaba in the Great Millstone, Arizona camp. Lord will with another video to edify. And um, I want to get into this, uh, you know, these sweeping mandates that are going across the globe right now. Right. And when you look over there to to the east, like those European nations, you know, other countries, Edomite countries that are mandating this, you can see all hell breaking loose. Right. So peep this and peep the exact wording that she uses. Right? And Esau always used the nigger woman to say something blunt. Right? Esau used conniving, cunning words, but when he gets the nigger woman to do it, or you Jakes to do it, he makes sure you just say, say it the way he wa really wants to express himself. You have been living without having a vaccination. It's time for a change. If you wish to live life as normally as possible, with the ease to do the things that you love, you must be vaccinated in the city of Chicago starting January 3rd. This health order may pose an inconvenience to the unvaccinated. And in fact, it's, it's inconvenient by design. Inconvenient by design, right? This is what these devils are doing, man. You know, so I'm going to get into these scriptures. All right, Psalms 94. And Psalms 94 and uh, 20 it says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? Right? And these devils are framing, framing mischief by a law. Right? He's just setting all these mandates up, all these roadblocks to pull forth what? A mischievous plan. To get you to take his shit. Right? And they're telling you, hey, it's, it's this 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 legislation is made to inconvenience you, you know, by by that intent, right? Let me play it again. This health order may pose an inconvenience to the unvaccinated. And in fact is it's inconvenient by design. Inconvenient by by design. A legislation that is made inconvenient by design. Right. This is a uh, verse uh, 21. It says they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent. Right. Innocent blood. Right. Now, brothers can bring out scriptures and tell you that according to a Bible, according to the Bible, you know, this this is something that we're not supposed to really protect in. Right. But this this devil. And his pride tells you that he's God, so he tells you what the Bible meant. He he acts like he's the only one that <laughs> his interpretation is the only interpretation that's correct. You know, these these devils are wicked, man. This Micah two and one it says, Woe to to them that advise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Right? This is iniquity that these devils have worked upon their beds. They thought about these things they've written the legislation in a certain way these are not things that they you know just sit down at a at a, at a macbook uh you know during a coffee break and get out these are things that take days on end right it says they cover fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so that they oppress a man and his house even a man and his heritage right this is this is this this is what it's coming to, man. This is uh Isaiah ten. You know what? Let me go back to that. No, Isaiah ten and one. I think this is the one that I wanted to go into blue letter. All right. Yeah, Isaiah ten and one it says, Whoa. 
unto them that decree unrighteousness. Let woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees. And I write grievousness, which they have prescribed. Now, these devils have written unrighteous laws, right? Decrees, right? When you go to that word decree, what does it mean? It says de decree, resolve, statute, action prescribed. Statutes, mandates, it says an enchantment, a resolution, decree, thought, right? Now, the second word that I wanted to get into this is that word grievousness, right? That word grievousness means toil, trouble, trouble, uh, mischief, toil, labor. Now, when you go into this, it says King James Version, King James Translation Count 55. And these are basically synonyms for the same word. Labor, mischief, misery, travail, trouble, sorrow, grievance, grievousness, iniquity, miserable, pain, painful. Right. And when you go to the strongest definition, it says wearing effort. Uh, it says wearing effort, hence worry, whether of body or mind, grievous, grievance, grievousness, iniquity, labor, mischief, miserable, misery right pain painful perverseness sorrow toil so these devils like the scriptures say right in isaiah 10 and 1 it says woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees when they're setting up this shit right and telling you you have to get these things in your veins when the lord didn't the lord didn't when you came in this world you you didn't need that shit right when the lord made men on earth he didn't tell them Hey, here's here's a shot that you need to take and you're going to need a booster. The Lord just made you put you in your mother's womb. You came out and what were the necessary things for life? Right. Your mother's milk to start off with. And then after that, the scriptures go into the book of Sirach. It said the chief things for life is what uh, uh, flour, water, fire, salt, iron. Right. Stop. Go, boy. These were the chief things for life. Now, did it say that you're going to need a booster? Nope. That was not a chief thing that the Lord wrote for you to have have need for. But what these devils are writing unrighteous decrees to make it so that you're not going to be able to live unless you take this shit. Hey, and at the end of the day, hey, you stay firm for the Lord and you do what's right. Because the Lord is the one that has to say so at the end of the day. It says that right grievousness, which they have prescribed. See, and her comment was what? These things are made inconvenient uh let me let me play it again sorry this health order may pose an inconvenience to the unvaccinated and in fact is is inconvenient by design inconvenient by design that's the prescribing right they prescribe it it says uh back in isaiah 10 and 2 it says to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. What will you do in the day of visitation, and the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will you flee for help? Where will you leave your glory? See, the Lord is going to respond to this. Right? There's only so much wickedness that can go on before the Lord starts responding to this. But ultimately, this devil's moving in this fashion, because what? Revelation 12 and 12. Right? It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Right? Because he know it that he had but a short time. So these devils, right? They they got their space stations now. They've been <laughs> coming out about the UFOs, which are really just the chariots of the Lord. When you see those lights in the sky, right? The Lord said, what? He shall be a, a, a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Those are those lights in the sky that you see, right? And these devils and these different militaries around the world have actually tried to shoot them down. And it always goes south, right? So he's seeing that, you know, and these devils, they're, they're good on the numbers. You go on uh, Google, have something that people that do, uh, you know, affiliate marketing to where you can look up how many search results come up for any particular phrase or word. You know damn well people are sitting there uh, looking up the Israelites, right, in mass numbers. You know, you probably see the 
the watch count. You can see the YouTube analytics on your own personal channel and see those, the watch counts, the hours watch, and that, these devils will mess with those numbers, but you, they'll, they'll see those things going up, right? So now they're just seeing, like, and it goes into Ezekiel, you know, the valley of the dry bones, and they're stood on their feet, an exceeding great army, and great fear fell upon them which saw, right? That great fear is coming on him, so he's moving because he knows that if this, all this is happening right now, the Lord is about to make his return. He's about to reward his people, the elect of his people for showing faith and, and keeping righteousness in the most wicked, perverse uh, uh, rulership that were, there was, right? So, um, go to this real quick. Daniel's 8 and 25. And it says, um, I'll, I'll go to 24. It says, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and practice and shall destroy the mighty and holy people. So his power, this devil's power is mighty, but not by his own power. He's not great because this devil, <laughs> this devil uh, has a rulership. No, the Lord set this man up. The Lord said, but he, uh, for even this cause, he has caused thee the, the, you know, get the rulership over the earth that he might show his power in him, just like he did to Pharaoh. He, the Lord raised him up just to destroy him. It says, and through his policy, going into his laws, his mandates, right? His legislation. Also, shall he cause craft to prosper in his hand, right? And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And this is, this is exactly what he's doing right now. All this policy coming out, these mandates, you know, constraining the people, making it harder for them just to live because they don't fully trust this shit. All right. And by peace shall destroy many. He he shall also stand up to fight against the prince of princes, but shall be broken without hand. All right. Because at the end of the day, this devil's going to use his policy to what? Issue forth. The MOB, the MOTB. Right. Because more and more information is coming out about the MOTB. You got them talking about now with it, even within the states, talking about the possibility of loading, uh, you know, your, 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 uh, your jab stats onto microchips that can be embedded in your body. To where you always have it on you. Right? So it says, and he had power to give life into the image of the beast. Right? That image is that system. The beast is NATO in the EU. Right? That M, right? NATO in the EU, even including America, because America is that whore that righted the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast. Right? Going into the great re reset. If you don't want to bow down to the Great Reset, if you don't want to take part in that, right? They're putting out so much legislation right now to, you know, categorize people who are, who are not, you know, getting down with the program. It says should be killed. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma, right? And it is sad that we, we can't even say a simple word, Right? Because these devils will sit here and, and, and just take your shit down just for saying it. Right? It says to receive a, a, a karagma in their right hand and their foreheads that no man by buy or sell say he that had the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name going into the microchip. Right? This is what all these mandates are pushing for because when you can get it to go through for something as, as small as this, right? It's easy to push it through for what's coming next. Right, but this is what's being prepared, you know. But uh don't want to go into much more. Yeah, the Lord willing, this is edifying them to say call law. Yahweh Bashimi Shai Bashimakara Shalom.